Despite four turnovers, Ohio's Josiah Yazdani was good from 44 yards away. Shoot off those fireworks. Bang! Ohio is 1-0 on the season, 1-0 in Mid-American Conference play, 17-14 the final. Ohio wins over Kent State. Oh, goodness. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius is alongside. Yeah, four turnovers yep. by a list of running backs. No matter, it got a little hairy, but Ohio wins. Yeah, closer than it really needed to be if you look at this. Ohio turned the ball over four consecutive times the second half, got down to running back number four on the list. A kid who just got a scholarship essentially <laughs> last week when Frank Solich found a guy who would hold on to the ball, got Ohio into field goal position, and won this game. Yeah, Darius Vick fumbled it twice. Tim Edmund uh, fumbled it once. Dorian Brown fumbled it once. Then A.J. Ouellette, a freshman, he held on to that ball, protected it, and that was a big part of the final drive for Ohio. Yeah, he looks like he's right out of fullback central casting. He did the job, got the Cats over midfield. But Darius Vick had a nice night. Landon Smith had a heck yeah. of a night as well, and that's where the chemistry is right now in this uh, receiver quarterback group. Yeah, Ohio is on top 7 nothing after 1, 14-7 uh, at sure. halftime. And then finally at the end, it was tied at 14, and Ohio wins at 17-14. to 14. Josiah Yazdani from Albany with love. Yeah, hashtag Yasm because he's been automatic. He has now made 47 kicks in his Bobcat career. He's only missed just one. He's now 15 to 16 in field goal tries, 32 for 32 in extra points. And the two extra points and his field goal tonight, huge, and the game winner came at the horn. Yeah, Frank Solich has total confidence in him, but he has total confidence in now a lot of guys in this group. I think Darius Vick has really improved his stock in the eyes of obviously these coaches, these fans. He's cool, collected, poised is the word Frank Solich kept using in the postgame. Yeah. Yeah, it uh, oof, came down to that final kick, the final seconds, and Ohio wins at 17-14. Here's how it looked and sounded at Dick Stadium. Two wide receivers right and a wide receiver left. First and 10 for KSU at their own 16. It's a handoff to Murray. He's bundled out in the backfield, breaks it back over to the right side and finally pulled down. Back behind the 10-yard line. Vic takes a snap. Flag flies. Flushed out of the pocket. Runs to the right side. Now a run. Directs traffic. Throws one down the middle of the field. It's caught. 45-40. Near sideline. 30 pulled down at the 25-yard line. That was a great connection uh, on the right side to Brendan Cope. But Troy Mangin, part of the package, trips wide left. Wide receiver to the right on third down and eight ball at the Kent State 23 right hash Vic is out of the shotgun with 10 10 to go for the first quarter in this scoreless game Darius takes a snap retreats two steps loads up throws middle of the field into the end zone caught six for the Cats touchdown Ohio Landon Smith caught it his fourth touchdown as a Bobcat Darius Vick connects on his sixth strike as Ohio's quarterback. His first as a starter. Four minutes and 59 seconds into the game. Ohio six, Kent State nothing. Javon Johnson is pulled up close to the line on the near side. He's blitzing. They throw against the pass, uh, against that blitz. Cost by Boyle to the five and into the house. Touchdown, Kent State. That was a beautiful play. Blitz was allowed to come. Johnson couldn't knock it down. They got it to the left side to Boyle. Down Kent State, they're an extra point away from tying the ball game. <laughs> Colin Reardon in the pistol set, play action, rolls the pocket left, backside rush, still on the run left to the right side, numbers, throws it down the field, and the ball is dropped. Beyond the 50-yard line, good coverage by Ohio. Two wide receivers right, wide receiver left, fully loaded backfield now. Back to pass Vic, loads up, lofts one near sideline, Patterson out there, caught it, got a step on the defender, he's pulled down. Inside the 10-yard line, Des Patterson out of the backfield on a wheel route, down at the near side, eight. Ball on the left hash. Vic changes the play at the line with Patterson behind him. Now he waits for the snap, takes the head of high snap, and it's a play fake. Throws a laser over the middle, it's caught! Touchdown, Cats! Second time tonight, the connection of Landon Smith and Darius Vic takes the Cats to the house. Six for Ohio, it's 13-7 Bobcats. Brown, 5'11", 196, and a redshirt freshman. Wears 25, he's on the left tip, but Daz Patterson play action, or rather uh, behind Darius Vick, who throws it over the middle, it's caught. Chase Cochran, no, it was Troy Manchin who went up there to make the catch at the 45-yard line in KSU territory. First and 10, ball at their own 44, back to pass Reardon, now he throws it near sideline, and caught by Humphreys, and pushing and shoving with Devin Bass, skids forward across the 35, inside Ohio territory, down to the 33. Takes a snap. Retreats, pump fake, pull it down, roll over to the right side. Now he throws on the run, wide open is Humphreys. He caught the ball, uh, touchdown Kent State. And after four turnovers, Kent State finally scores once. And they are an extra point away from tying this game.
as Darius Vick is out of the shotgun. Vick takes a snap and retreats. Now he zings one to the right side, jumping grab, caught. Landon Smith got it, right side numbers, pulled down to the 38, first down for the Bobcats. Two wide receivers left to the right. Ohio on its uh, fourth running back, and Ouellette will get the ball running right, shed a tackler near sideline, tiptoed the sideline, lunges forward and got a Gain of about eight or nine yards. Second down and very short, as Rob told you, near the right hash. Ball at the 47. A handoff to Ouellette. Runs to the right side. Got a first down. Carries some tacklers with him on the right side. Numbers to the 40-yard line in Kent State territory. Two wide receivers split left. Manjin is just in front of Vic and to his left. Ouellette is to his left. Third and seven at the 37, and it's a run up the middle. It is Vic. He got to the 30-yard line, and that's a first down for the Bobcats. Darius Vic ran with a lot of speed right up the middle, and Ohio's redshirt junior from Lincoln, Nebraska, gives Ohio a first down with 1.30 to go for the contest. So 46 kicks he's been accurate on. This one would be 47, and this one would give Ohio the win. From 43, 44 yards away on the left hash, the snap is back, the kick is away, and he got it, and Ohio wins! Josiah Yazdani, Yazmatic, paint this one, green and white, Ohio wins, Ohio wins, Ohio wins on a Josiah Yazdani 44-yard field goal at the gun. Oh, baby, what a big-time kick and what a huge win. Lost in all of this is a stat that shouldn't be lost. The defense, my goodness, they were strong. 295 yards, that's all Kent State could muster tonight. Across the board, a pretty good job. Yeah, really good job. And the defensive front, you know, we talked about in the preseason being legit nine or 10 deep. They were the best thing tonight. They got the sacks, they got to the quarterback, they stopped the running game almost completely in the first half. I asked Frank Solich, be honest, 10 years plus, is this the best D-line group you've had? Probably. Yeah. And uh, that's that's that, that's a big praise, big answer from him. So now 1-0, 1-0 in Mid-American Conference play. You take on the Kentucky Wildcats coming up next week at Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington. And oh, by the way, Ohio won the last time against those guys. Yeah, 2004. Scotty Mail did, a, did the yeoman's work in that one against one of Rich Brooks' worst teams. It shows it can be done. But this is a different Kentucky team. This is not the 2-10 and 10 bunch they were last year. Nearly put 60 on a 1-A team this week. But more importantly, they've had two monster recruiting classes. This is a tough out. Frank Solich's show comes up from tonight. Autos at 11 until noon on Tuesday. Then Bobcats road trip live from Commonwealth Stadium on Thursday night on many stations on our radio network from 6 until 7 o'clock. And then it's game time in the Bluegrass. Saturday, 3.30 the kick. We're on the air at 2.30. Oh, what a moment tonight. Ohio wins at 17-14. Josiah is Donnie the hero for the entire Bobcat TV crew. Tanner Smith, Ryan Cochran, and everybody else. And for Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Paint this one green and white. Ohio wins it over Kent State. This is Bobcat TV.